So what do you do when you're running out of warehouse space? Do you rent off-site storage? Do you look for a bigger warehouse? No, you don't need to. That's the topic for this week. So it's a very common thing for companies to run out of warehouse space. And you can see we're in one of our clients' warehouses here, and it's fairly full. And they were running out of space, and they were wondering what to do, and in comes John Monk. John Monk's one of our consultants who specializes in warehouse design. So we've just been looking around. They're operating better. They've got more space. What did you do, John? So what we did was we came in and we observed what, how they were running. It was a fairly typical warehouse that we see around the country, standard uh, aisle widths of around 3.5 metres with reach trucks. And the brief was they needed 30% more space. Wow. Now, the option of going off site was always there, but they own this particular site, our client. So we looked at narrow, a narrow aisle solution, and we also looked at the height that we could go towards the roof. So we put more in across the warehouse and up in terms mm. of the vertical distance within the so, warehouse. So we'll have a look around, but the aisles behind us are what, 2.2 metres wide? 2.2 metres wide. Yeah, which so, is pretty narrow. So, so with a reach truck, you'd be at what, 3.5? Yeah, about 3.3 to 3.5 metres is wow. a typical reach truck. Uh, so you can imagine if all your aisles are narrower, you're kind of you know, shuffling them all down, mm. then you're going to fit more rows of racking in. Mm. So how much more did they fit in? So they were looking for 30% more, yeah. and we got 700 pallets in this, in this warehouse, which is around 2,500 square metre warehouse. Great. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, and the turret trucks. Tell us about the turret trucks. How do they help? Well, they're actually articulated forklifts, mm. Rob, uh, they're different from turret trucks, but articulated forklifts can operate... How, how are they different? I thought <laughs> they were... <laughs> they're different. Uh, they, 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 and we'll, we'll have a, in this yeah, video, yeah. we'll see a, 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 the articulated yeah. forklift because they're now operating, yeah. and they basically, the front of the forklift turns yeah, uh, and yeah. allows it to operate in, down to rack to rack about 1.8 metres, though we're mm. here rack to rack about 2.2. So... There'll be people watching thinking, why didn't we go to 1.8? Maybe we could have fitted another row or two of racking in. So why 2.2 metre rails and not 1.8? So 2.2 uh, metre we chose partly because of the productivity gains that you get mm. by just going a little bit wider than as yeah. narrow as possible because the forklift driver has to be uh, comfortable and confident in going yeah. down very narrow aisles mm. and also in this particular warehouse our outer limits are the outer wall so yeah. you know can we actually fit in an extra aisle on the basis yeah, of the okay. 1.8 so we actually played off all those constraints and yeah. uh, with the with the client we yeah. came up with the 2.2 meter as the optimal width of the aisles yeah that, that, I mean, and that seemed to be a really good balance because as you can see with the forklifts going in and out uh, 1.8 would be very tight and you'd be mm. kind of overly cautious and slower and, and all the rest of it. That's great. And you went higher. I have to say, I have never seen storage in a warehouse get as close to the roof as you've done. So that must have given a lot more capacity as well. Definitely a lot more capacity. As yeah. we said, 700 extra pallets. Uh, yeah. the, this particular client had product stored off-site, mm. so that allows them to bring the product on-site. So you might be thinking, okay, we're going to rearrange the racking, and in fact, the racking used to run this way, didn't it? Uh, in part of the warehouse, yes, it yeah, did. Yeah, and it's been turned this way, as you can see. Um, you might be looking at this and saying, well, that, that's great, but I've actually got to move all the racking. I've got to keep my business going. So did the business keep operating? Absolutely. That? That, yeah. was, that was a definitely a large challenge for mm. this particular business. Yeah. The way they did that was they operated as business as usual through the day yeah. and in the evenings they emptied the racks out, uh, took the old racks out, put the new racks in, row at a time, night after night and it took yeah. about three weeks. Wow. So that was a great job that the client did at actually keeping the business running and uh, putting the new racking in. So it can be done. In fact we were just talking to the warehouse manager and he was saying he, he would come in at eight in the evening mm. uh, and kind of supervise this and he'd be here till two in the morning. That's right. And then you know the day shift would come back in, operators normal, mm. and then that night they'd do another one. Mm. So what, what would be the next step in trying to improve you know the capacity and the productivity in this warehouse what would you be doing next so with this particular client our next uh, task here to, is to optimize the product placement so that's product okay. slotting that's okay. a that's a whole video in itself rob uh, okay. to look at product slotting let's do that but, one next yeah. <laughs> okay do that one next yeah, yeah. yeah. okay well that, that's awesome so what do you do when you're running out of space um, you don't go and build a bigger warehouse or rent a bigger warehouse or go to off-site storage very often you can actually reconfigure the internal storage 
uh, in your warehouse and get a lot more capacity. And, That's right. And in this case, 30% more. So you're extending the life of that warehouse. So, That's right. Uh, we might um, see if we can talk to uh, the warehouse manager and get his feedback on it as well. But at this point, you know how this works on the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, do subscribe, do like. That helps us understand what topics you're enjoying most. Do comment below. If you've got any questions on this, we'd be more than happy to answer. Comment below. And we'll see you next week because videos come out every Wednesday. Thanks, John. Thanks, really John. interesting. Cheers. Job well done.